Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually doing a sit down video. It's been a minute since I filmed a sit down video. I've been doing mostly vlogs lately. So welcome. We are in my bedroom here in Las Vegas in my Airbnb. As you can see by the title, I wanted to talk about some April favorites, springtime favorites, and just kind of give you a life update, what's been going on. I've been in Las Vegas. I basically live on the strip. It's just so stimulating and there's so much going on and there's so much FOMO that you could have because everything fun is happening all the time. So I definitely got off of my routine that I had in San Francisco simply because our schedule is different here in Las Vegas. It's just energetically a really, really highly stimulating city. So it's hard for me to sleep here. You know, it's hard for me to wake up early here. I've been leaning into therapy and self-reflection to help me navigate these changes in my routine and my lifestyle. If you can hear, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. All of us got something after Corden. I think we caught something on the plane. Also, yeah, uh, if you were not aware, I was on James Corden. I performed with the rest of the cast of Six, the Aragon tour, and, and now the Late Late Show with James Corden is over. Um, so I just feel so thankful that we got to perform on his show uh, before it ended. He was such a pleasure to work with. So kind, so funny. His whole team was amazing. So that was really, really, really special and such a wild moment. I mean, I can't believe we did Tiny Desk and the Late Late Show with James Corden all within the span of less than a year. It's just mind-blowing. In leaning into therapy and things that I've been working on, I have goals for myself and I find that I often, I stand in my own way of reaching my goals and it comes from places of shame, of places of not wanting to be bad at things. I would say my number one life goal, aside from anything related to my career and performing, is to be a true polyglot. Obviously I speak English, I speak Spanish, I would say fluently, but I'm, I have plans in the future to really take me to the next level. I speak French, I'm getting there. I used to be fantastic at it and then I just kind of stopped practicing and I lost it. Aside from other little languages that I know bits and pieces of, Spanish and French are the other languages that I'm trying to get to a really good level. And my own pride has really stood in the way of me reaching those goals for years. I just decided that I'm not going to be ashamed anymore. And this is something my dad told me. You have to accept where you are today. You have to face yourself. So whether that's you want to start eating in a more balanced way or exercising or moving into a different career, the first step is confronting yourself about hey, that's not where I am. Let's look at where I am right now. So I did that. I confronted myself and I just decided not to be ashamed anymore and I've been doing my Duolingo. I have like a 27 day streak and that's not the only thing I do. I'm always consuming, but it's just a fun thing for me to stick to every day. And I've also added Greek and Arabic to my Duolingo. Totally different world. I have to learn a whole new alphabet. First of all, um, it's been wild, but ever since I went to Greece with my mom, I have just, I just fell in love with Greek culture. I've always been interested in it and Greek history. Going to Greece with my mom last September, I don't think I was prepared for the level of joy and, and friendship and connection that came out of that trip. We spent two weeks in Athens, Naxos, and Santorini, and I have some vlogs or a vlog from Greece. I have more footage. I took so much footage. We just had the best time, and every day that we talk, we talk about that trip. We had the most wonderful food. We visited ancient archeological sites. We had a whole day where we spent time in an ancient theater, which was so, meaningful for me obviously as an actor we went on catamarans we went on a yacht cruise we had lunch cooked for us and it was just oh my gosh we had so much fun i just felt like my soul our souls just needed to go there together so so i'm excited about learning greek very slowly over duolingo in case i decide to retire there retire on naxos but 
my mom was actually just here visiting and we had a, a wonderful time as well. She was here for five nights and we got to celebrate um, early Mother's Day, or that was at least my intention, was to celebrate Mother's Day early, because I don't know the next time I'm gonna see her on tour. So I took her to the spa, um, the Encore at the Wynn, and it's my favorite spa. I've been there three or four times since I've been here. It's gorgeous. Uh, I got her a hydrofacial, and she said the results were amazing. She seems really pleased with it. We went to Wing Lei, which is a Chinese restaurant in the Wynn, that was beautiful. Uh, we went to Martha Stewart's restaurant called, I think it's called the Bedford. It's in the Paris Hotel. And everything in it is Martha Stewart. Like, and it's a replica of her home in New York, I think. But that, once I read that, I was like, I'm sold. Literally felt like we were just over at our really rich friend's house. The dessert, we had this upside down lemon meringue cake thing that was one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. The food was just classic homey meals done to perfection. And we had chicken and salmon, Brussels sprouts, a smashed potato, quite literally smashed potato. And uh, it was called something like extra lemony lemonade or something and it was extra lemony and they had mint in it and I was in heaven. She came to the show every single night that she was here and we just got to reminisce more about Greece. I was happy to celebrate Mother's Day early with her and the cherry on top I got to gift her with a beautiful piece of jewelry. Every year I give my mom a piece of jewelry or pieces of jewelry from Ana Luisa. They are also the sponsor of today's video so shout out to them for supporting the channel. I don't know if you remember, but a couple years ago, she got her first Ana Luisa piece. I gave her a necklace that says Mama, and she totally burst into tears when she saw it because it was during the pandemic. Um, I had sent it to her house because I hadn't seen her in, I don't know, almost two years in person. I just felt like she could have a little part of me close to her, even though I didn't really know when I'd be able to see her next. So. Jewelry is, is something that I love and I get that from my mom. Uh, I just admire my mom so much. I'll get emotional if I start talking about it. I just think she is, she just has the most beautiful heart. And uh, I'm so proud whenever I go out with her because she gets stopped all the time and told how beautiful she is, uh, that she looks like Princess Diana. She gets that all the time. And I'm like, if you only knew how beautiful she was on the inside and that it, it matches, if not exceeds, her external beauty. She's so special. So I got to gift her a beautiful pair of earrings. She said she's been looking for some pearls in her life, but something a little more modern, because her style isn't, it's classic, but it's not stuffy. So I knew that Ana Luisa would have options for me. They had a ton of pearl options, so I decided to choose a hoop with a pearl. You know, something a little more unique. So, and I do know that she wears hoops a lot, so. Oh, Gabby. This is so pretty. I know, I thought maybe you could wear them to the show tonight. Oh, I will. I'm gonna wear them to Martha's place. Oh, this is really nice. I do love pearls. And Lips they match yeah. your Athena. Wow, Ta -da. Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love them. Yeah, look at that. Cute. So she loved the earrings. I was so, so happy. So today I've got some Ana Luisa jewelry on. I have this beautiful four leaf clover bracelet that I recently got because I know I always talk about that I'm Mexican, but I'm also on my mom's side, very Irish and also on my dad's side. We've got a lot of Irish blood. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'll do a little tribute and do a nice delicate bracelet. I don't have any other bracelets like this. And uh, I think it's just gonna be perfect and beautiful for summertime. And then these earrings are also Ana Luisa. These are some small hoops. They're a little bit chunky and they almost have a rope detail. So again, it's just a twist on something really classic. It's never gonna go out of style. And then in my second hole here, I have these awesome, I don't think you'd call them threader earrings, but they're open. And I just think they look awesome paired together. If you are looking for some Mother's Day gifts, some gifts for yourself, uh, I've got friends that are now new mothers. 
So if you're looking for gifts for them that are tarnish free, high quality, affordable, beautiful and unique, and also good for the planet, check out Ana Luisa. They are definitely an eco-conscious company. They just pair beauty with quality. I will leave everything in the link down below. My mom definitely was happy with those earrings. If you can see on her neck, she has a necklace that is uh, the goddess Athena that we bought in Athens. So I wanted to get her gold earrings so that she could match with the necklace because she wears it every day. I love it. Let's get into my other favorites for the spring. So there is a book that I heard about through Alyssa Beltempo, and if you don't know her, she's an Italian-Canadian slow fashion content creator, and she is so stylish and so chic and awesome, and I love her videos. She mentioned it in a video, and I ordered it on Amazon, and I read it in one day in about an hour and a half by the pool, and it's called... Uh, La Bella Figura, How to Live a Chic, Simple, and European-Inspired Life by Christy Bell. And what I love about that book is it's not about consumption. It's really a book from what seems like a minimalist, slow fashion approach. So it's perfect for me. Um, there are some recipes in there. There are lessons about Italians and Europeans and how they live better with less. I heard someone say clutter is what stands between you and your best life. Anything that stands between you and your best happiest life. And it's about style, food, spirit, education, personal growth. Um, and it was a lovely book. So shout out to Alyssa Beltempo and her channel for uh, putting that in my line of vision. I'm also reading All About Love by Bell Hooks. And I'm not quite done with it. I would say I'm about halfway through, but I'm already loving it. Uh, I saw it two times on friends bookshelves when I was in San Francisco and so I thought okay this is a sign uh, my therapist actually recommended that I read it about in our session about two weeks ago and I was like I have it and I haven't started it yet and she's like start it so it's homework from my therapist but also homework from the universe so I'm really really enjoying it and it's not all about romantic love it's all types of love and I think that's something that I'm looking to focus on in my life is cultivating all kinds of love. Then we have A Court of Silver Flames, the last book that is available right now in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have this much left and I know I'm procrastinating because I don't want to finish it. I think it might be my favorite. I mean, I had to keep checking the cover being like, is this fan fiction? Because there's so much juicy Cassian and Nesta stuff in here that I was like, Sarah Mass, what are you on? Because I want some. Cassian, I'm a Cassian girl through and through. I want to talk about a podcast. I've been really, really enjoying um, Stavi's World. It's uh, a podcast hosted by Stavros Halkias, and I found out about him through Theo Vaughn's podcast. He was a guest. And then the more I watch him, he is totally my type of comedian. Cause he's funny, he can be brutal. I love that he, hey, he's also Greek. Um, but he, we seem to have the same ethics. And so I know that in comedy, it, it it's kind of like anything goes, right? But there are some people that make certain jokes or on their podcasts when they have a platform will avoid talking about certain things or seem to be saying something where I'm like, ooh, that doesn't seem like you maybe believe in happiness and freedom for everybody. Interesting, like hee hee ha ha, you're funny, but you're less funny now that I think you might be a little bit ignorant. So I just think he's a cool person. I think we'd be friends. I think we'd get along very well. And I find him so incredibly funny. His crowd work, he has a new crowd work special and it's so funny and you can see I'm just like lighting up because when I find artists and people with minds that I just love I get excited about them and I'm not even the world's biggest stand-up fan or expert but I just think he's great so check out Stavros Halkias and Stavi's World is his podcast and I am also a Patreon patron I pay for extra episodes because that's how much I love it um, as someone who I don't like having a lot of supplements. I don't like doing a lot of little drinks and this and powder this and add sea moss gel. And I want to keep my life as simple as possible, but I want to use products that support 
me feeling good. I've been enjoying the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. This is my second container of this and I am almost empty. And uh, I like this because it has protein in it. How much protein? 18 grams in every serving. So that's, that's like really significant for something that's not even advertised as a protein. It's the vanilla flavor. I find it to be delicious. I add it to all of the lattes and the drinks that I make at home and it makes them more creamy and more delicious. It's honestly like like adding cream. So it's really good. And uh, one of the drinks I've been enjoying at home is the Ohm Mushroom Hot Chocolate Blend. So this has a bunch of those mushrooms. And listen, because I added so many health-related things into my life the past couple months to really try to get my thyroid disease symptoms under control, I can't pick and choose what is working best and what's maybe just something I enjoy. I don't know that, I can't say that this is the reason I feel better, but I enjoy it. I love having it with some oat milk and some of this in the morning. It's very delicious. It's It tastes like hot chocolate, it's good. If I don't have the hot chocolate, I'm having the Sun Food Superfoods Organic Golden Milk Super Blend. So this is like a turmeric, I make myself a turmeric latte with this and some oat milk and some cinnamon. So good. If you're interested in those, I'm gonna link them down below. I think they'll have them on Amazon, so I will put those links. If you purchase through my links, I get a little kickback, so appreciate it. I have not, so I bought these probably a year ago. I have not lost a single sock since I bought these. And I think the key was spending a little more on my socks. So these are some Lululemon black socks. And I got them in a pack of maybe four, and I think I got two packs. Anyway, they're not cheap, but I love them. They're the, they go high, which is the type of sock that I like to wear at the gym and just under leggings and everything so they don't slip down my ankles. And um, they're great. I'm, I got medium large because I'm a size nine, eight and a half, nine, and I haven't lost them because I think subconsciously I'm like, you spent some good money on these socks, don't lose them. Another thing I've been loving is these shorts. I will show you in a cutaway, but these are shorts that I found from Amazon. I wanted to get some scrunch butt shorts to see how they would look on me. I ordered one pair and then I fell in love with them and I love to wear them to the gym, especially in Vegas, it's so hot. These are by Seller. Um, I got this color, I'm wearing black aqua which i think might be my favorite and hot pink none of them are see-through except the hot pink a little bit not so much see-through but if you wear underwear with them with the lighter colors you can see the underwear line i love them and they are available on amazon and if you're interested yeah again i'm gonna leave that link all right let's talk about some beauty stuff fragrance that i've been loving look at this dent this is Angel Muse Eau de Toilette, and I finally figured out that this is a this is a warm weather fragrance, and it took me a while to fall in love with it, but it's wonderful, and I wore it, and my mom kept complimenting me on it all week, so I let her use it. She's probably gonna get it. This is Passion Fruit, Mandarin Orange, Lemon, Hazelnut Cocoa Spread, like Nutella, Cassis, Vetiver, Akigala wood, chocolate, and caramel. So it, it sounds like it's gonna be a real gourmand fragrance, but I don't think it really comes off that way. Because it starts off so citrusy, it's just a wonderful hot weather fragrance. It's like a, a glass of passion fruit lemonade or something. The chocolate and the caramel and the hazelnut spread, it sits really well in the fragrance, so I would never smell myself and say that I smell like chocolate, but knowing the notes, it makes sense. There is this creamy depth to it. I just love it, obviously. This is my second bottle of this. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it is saving my skin. It has saved my skin from dryness and the hypothyroid dryness for the past several months. This is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. It comes in glass packaging. And I haven't found any other products that have similar ingredients. So this one has, I believe, three types of, four types, four types of hyaluronic acid. There's niacinamide, there's caffeine-rich cacao seed, 
um, gold thread root helps to soothe skin, non-comedogenic, and yeah, it does everything it says. Hydrating, lightweight, dewy finish, plumping, it's beautiful. It is the closest thing that I'll ever need, I think, to using a uh, an oil. I'm just gonna keep buying this. So yeah, the first bottle I got Merit gifted to me, this one I bought myself. So I do have uh, a an affiliate link with Merit. If you're interested in purchasing, I have something else from Merit that I'm gonna talk about. My favorite serum in, in, in my skincare collection. I have seen some comments on Instagram and YouTube that my lashes are looking great. And thank you. So for the past year or so, I've been using the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum, and I was always really skeptical about lash serums. For some reason, I didn't think they worked. And then I got lash extensions for a while, and my lashes became really brittle, and so I wanted a way to make them long and healthy again. This is my second tube. This combined with a lash lift, it's next level. My last check was like, you look like I just put lash extensions on you. I have mascara on right now, but it just, I have really, really long, lovely lashes now thanks to this. And it helped me bounce back from the damage that personally lash extensions um, caused me. So I'll leave that link down below. Then we'll talk about some makeup and then we'll get out of here. The Merit, this is my second tube of this. The Merit, uh, I think this is Brown 1980 Volumizing Pomade in black brown. I have it on today, and that's all I have on my brows, and I love it. It comes in this little package with a spoolie. I love that this uh, part of the packaging is really long. It's totally comfortable, um, and it just adds texture and fluff to your brows. I was using this all through my trip to Greece. If you go back to my Greek island makeup routine or something, um, I'm using this and you can see how it really fluffs up my brows. It works for me, someone who already has thick, dark brows, just to add texture and, again, fluff. I don't want to try anything else. I don't need anything else. Merit has done it. Again, the first bottle was gifted to me, or the first package, and this one I bought myself. This is the Kaja, they don't have the name on the packaging, but it's their new jelly lip stain, I believe it's called, and this is whatever the, the, the color's not on here either, but, um, so it is a stain. I think it has berry in the name. It comes with this cute little keychain, and I love it. This is a way for me to wear a berry pink, but it's not opaque, and I feel like with this texture, it makes your lips look so juicy. Paired with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao 506. So this almost looks like it adds a shadow to the outside of your lips, so it looks like they're even fuller. And I love it. I was uh, first introduced to this on the set of a photo shoot, and I was like, what is this? And it took me a while to get my hands on it, but I finally got my hands on it. I love this lip combo. And then, on my eyelids, very, very lightly, I decided to try something so different and get the Sephora Charged Up Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadow in number five, shocking. And it's this iridescent purple, and I just think a super, super light application on my lids is just interesting, you know? It's it's totally, totally different for me. I think it's really pretty, and it's inexpensive. It's Sephora collection. So, if you made it through, thank you for being here with me. I swear, I only mention things that I really love, so it's worth it. But I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna make some lunch before I head off to a rehearsal. Yeah, I will catch you in my next video. Make sure to check out Ana Luisa if you're looking for gifts for your mom or a mother figure or friends who are new moms or yourself just to add a little to your jewelry collection. Definitely check them out down below. Shout out once again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring another one of my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you for keeping this channel running. That is it from me. I will talk to you in my next video. Love you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.